Ergothionine is a metabolite that's found in mushrooms that promotes longevity and healthy aging. So first, let's take a look at the data in mice. And that's what we'll see here. On the y-axis, we've got the probability of survival plotted against age in days. And in this study, ergothionine supplementation was started at seven weeks of age, so that's when the mice are young, at a dose of four to five milligrams of ergothionine per kilogram body weight. And then in terms of what's significant, we put up a red line at 50% survival. That's the time when half of the mice have died and half is still alive. And when compared with the control lifespan at that time point, we can see that there was a 16% increased median survival for ergothionine supplemented mice. All right, what about maximal lifespan? So for that, we put up a red line at 10% survival. So now 90% of the colony has died and only 10% is still alive. And here we can see an even greater effect for urothionine with a 29% increased maximal survival. All right, so one animal model or data in one animal model is interesting. What about a second? So in this study, which will be in the video's description, if you missed it, they also looked at lifespan in C. elegans, in worms. And that's what we can see here. So when looking at median survival, when compared with the lowest dose of ergothionine, five millimolar ergothionine, we can see that the lifespan curve shifted in the right direction, but that wasn't a significant effect. In contrast, the higher dose of ergothionine, 10 millimolar, 10 millimolar ergothionine, significantly e increased lifespan in C. elegans. All right, so now we've got two animal models where ergothionine increases lifespan. What about a third? Well, in an earlier video, we saw that ergothionine increases lifespan in flies. And if you missed it, it'll be in the right corner. So we've got three animal models, ergothionine extended lifespan in each of them. While that's interesting, what I care about and what most of the people watching the channel care about is could ergothionine impact health in people? And interestingly, in this study that we're about to see, higher plasma levels of ergothionine were associated with a reduced risk of death from all causes. So. In this study, it included people with an average age of 58 years with a 22-year follow-up. In other words, starting with the baseline assessment of plasma metabolite levels, what was the risk of death based on those levels an average of 22 years later? And then to address that, we put up a red line at the log hazard ratio of zero. And then to the right of that line, relatively higher plasma levels of metabolites are, would be associated with an increased all-cause mortality risk. And just to highlight what was uh, the case for that, it was cotinine or cotinine. I don't know how you say it, but that's a marker of smoking or tobacco use. So in other words, uh, relatively higher levels of cotinine were associated with a uh, maximally increased all-cause mortality risk relative to all the other metabolites that are to the right of that log hazard ratio of zero. But that shouldn't be a surprise. Smoking is bad for us. The plasma metabolite levels just uh, support that data. All right, now to the left of a hazard ratio, log hazard ratio of zero, relatively higher plasma levels of metabolites would be associated with a reduced all-cause mortality risk. And we can see that the metabolite that's farthest to the left in this case is ergothionine. In other words, relatively higher plasma levels of ergothionine are associated with a reduced all-cause mortality risk. Now, before we all go out and start eating a ton more mushrooms, Note that while ergothionine can be increased by diet, it can also be degraded by gut bacteria. So measuring plasma levels is essential. And we'll soon be able to track plasma levels of ergothionine, and that's using Iolo's at-home metabol metabolomics kit. Now, after some gentle prodding from me and trying to get them to add this into their product, I've been told that it will be added for May of 2024. So expect an update video you know, as in ergothionine extends lifespan, what's my data, coming probably sometime in early June. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. And before you go, we've got a whole bunch of discount links that you may be interested in, including discount links for at-home metabolomics, epigenetic testing, oral microbiome composition, NAD quantification, at-home blood testing with Cyfox Health, which includes ApoB and now GrimAge, green tea, diet tracking with chronometer, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, Buy Me A Coffee. We've also got merch. So if you're interested in wearing the Conquer Aging or Diet Trying brand, as I've got on here, that link and all of the other links will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.